The Honorable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Uh, Mr. Speaker, with every fitting respect, uh, I too wish on the anniversary this week of the first uh, COVID-19 deaths at Northwood to continue in the vein of questioning begun by uh, my colleague, the leader of the Progressive Conservatives, and ask the Premier about his government's relationship to those events. Uh, in the article, which I'll table, which has been uh, cited previously, the author describes critical staffing shortages and describes them in great detail. She writes, staffing levels had been minimal for years as the province rolled back the amount it was willing to pay for care. Now the rollback she's referring to is the, the 360,000 uh, that was removed from the operating funds of Northwood in 2015 and the $600,000 that was removed from the operating funds of Northwood in 2016. So I want to ask the Premier, does he agree with me that Northwood was not able to be adequately prepared to deal with COVID because his government negatively affected staffing with these cuts? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And since that time, we actually had two reviews uh, that we're looking at to ensure that we're uh, always doing better. Mr. Speaker, we've invested uh, an increase of over $100 million in our long-term care uh, sector in this budget. Uh, we're going to continue to look at the recommendations. All of the short-term recommendations are underway, uh, and we're looking at to continuing to make the investments in the right area uh, so that we don't have outbreaks in our centres. And thankfully, uh, we've been able to prevent them ever since. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, every staff member and every administrator and every member of a family of someone in long-term care and every policy expert in this area agrees that the, the highway for uh, infection transmission in long-term care is shared accommodations. And it was for exactly this reason that Northwood put forward its funding proposal in 2017 for a 12.5 million capital expansion to move to a model of one resident, one room. Uh, that application was not successful. And then the following year, the application was resubmitted. The, the resubmission was also not successful. And then in the year before the pandemic, 19, for a third time, uh, Northwood's uh, application for an expansion to provide for one resident, one room, it was again rejected. Mr. Speaker, does the Premier agree that Northwood was not able to be adequately prepared to deal with COVID because this government turned down those three expansion proposals. The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm very focused on ensuring that uh, addressing the issues in long-term care is a priority uh, for the government. Uh, the issues around Northwood uh, are being addressed both with staffing uh, and in the capital uh, that's been approved uh, before I took office, Mr. Speaker, so we'll see that investment uh, through to fruition and we'll continue uh, to look at other age uh, centres across the, the province. There's already uh, seven approved. We're continuing to work uh, through the list in priority to see those uh, that need uh, the most attention for infection control uh, and other aspects through a review uh, and looking at how we provide uh, more support for our hard-working frontline staff and they deserve it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, the Premier says that he's very focused, but all his being focused in the world doesn't change the fact that today in Nova Scotia, there is not a single CCA who is being paid what they're worth. And all his, all his being focused does not change the fact that of all the nursing homes we've got in our province, there is not one where today there was an adequate ratio uh, of uh, staff uh, to residents. And all he's being focused does not change the fact that there is nothing in the government's current program uh, that is effectively addressing these two crises. So I want to ask the Premier, uh, when is he going to move from being simply focused to effectively taking responsibility for what has come from the fact that this government has systematically neglected the long-term care sector. The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And there have been no COVID-19 uh, cases uh, since the first wave in our long-term care centres, Mr. Speaker. We're continuing to ensure that we suppress uh, a third wave as a possibility. We're continuing to roll out the vaccines. Uh, we lead the country in vaccinating our residents in long-term care centres, uh, who we know would be most vulnerable uh, to disease entering the facility, and that's also why we worked backwards uh, from uh, those most aged in our province. We continue uh, to get the second doses out. Half of our 
Uh, residents have that uh, second dose already, and we're continuing uh, to work through that list. And we're making strategic investments in these homes to make sure that this hap never happens again, what happens at Northwood. Thank you.